Unit 10, questions uh, 32 to 35. Um, it's about fatty acids, uh, talking about saturated. And by the way, as soon as I hear the word saturated uh, fatty acids, of course, I'm going to think of saturated, meaning it's carbon is bonded to four different four atoms, you know, and not necessarily different atoms, but to four uh, separate atoms, I, I should say, and, um, and that each one of those four bonds are single bonds, they're sp3 hybridized bonds, uh, carbon sits in the center of a tetrahedron uh, when this is the case, and when carbon has one double bond, and bonded to three atoms in all, then it sits in the center of a triangle, and that's called trigonal planar. Okay, so, <clears throat> um, looking at these questions, then uh, the first question, so a group of uh, three fatty acids that are all saturated. Okay, so now we have to find, figure out um, which of these um, fatty acids are saturated? Well, watch watch the trick that Acer gave you. I know that some of you, uh, you know, uh, because you've done organic chemistry uh, very uh, recently, uh, you you might have uh, memorized the equation for saturated fat, fatty acids, um, uh, which uh, is um, something like this: two n um, plus one and uh, and C O O H C O O H. You know, so you, you might have, so it's CNH, 2N plus 1, COOH. I wouldn't memorize that. Acer is not expecting you to memorize that. Rather, they gave you a trick, um, is, and that is right below palmitic acid. After they showed you the structure for palmitic acid, they, they wrote CH3 and then um, CH2 and 14. Okay, and of course this is palmitic acid, so there's a COOH on the end. But uh, they wrote it out this way. As you see, they pulled out this um, this CH3 group, and you can see that this is 14 times 2 is 28. 14 times uh, carbon is 14. So uh, they're exactly uh, twice each other. So let's let's keep that in mind for a second and try something. So now um, I'm looking at the table one, and there's one, two, three, four, five, six. You know, there's six. One, two, three, four, five, six um, different uh, chemicals uh, going down the side. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at the, what's in the table, and I'm going to pull out a CH3 group, and I'm just going to leave what's left. That's going to give me this sense of what this is because I know this is saturated. I can see the structure. Acer gave me the structure. All those, no, there are no double bonds in palmitic acid uh, in terms of carbon-carbon double bonds in palmitic acid. So I know this is the meaning of saturation right here. And so I want to get that meaning from those other chemicals in the table so that I can say with confidence which ones are saturated and which ones are not saturated. All I have to do is remove CH3 from the chemicals. So I look at the formula. The first formula is C19H19. And I'm going to pull out one carbon, so it's C8. I'm going to pull out three hydrogens, so instead of H19, it's H16. You might think this is going to take a lot of time, but it's going to take less than a minute because I'm just taking out CH3. So the next one is going to be C10 and then H20. And then the next one will be C12 and H24. Next one, C14, H26. Uh, next one, C14, uh, H28, H28. Next one, C16. Okay, C16. Uh, I'll just get this a little higher up for you. C16, uh, H26. Uh, and then uh, down the other side, you have 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Uh, C16, 
H28, um, C16, H30, C16, H32, C18, H28, C18, H34, C24, H48. Okay, so once I see that right away, 24, 28, this is double. So that means this is fully saturated. 16 to 32, doubled, fully saturated using the rule, this rule. Um, what else do I have up here? Doubled, doubled. And uh, 12, this is 24, doubled. And 14, 28, doubled. So we have these one, two, three, four, five, six compounds. Um, I can see that it's capric acid, lauric, myristic, palmitic, uh, steric, and serotic. And uh, then I um, look at my answer choices and I see that it's answer choice A. So 32 is answer choice A. I know you're looking at this saying all of that just to do one qu question, but Acer is not going to make you work like that just for one question. So there's going to be more questions based on the data that uh, has just been accumulated. And then it gets uh, simple. So the number of double bonds in arachidonic acid. So now to know this, uh, I know that if I, have, if, I, if I have a saturated compound like ethane, so here's ethane, okay, and it's saturated. It's, um, it's got um, each carbon is bonded, has four single bonds, okay, so that's ethane. And then if I go from ethane to ethene, okay, so now we, we had two hydrogens removed. Two hydrogens removed and now we have a double bond. So of course they were eliminated, but uh, that's a different subject. Um, so now we, we know we, this is how we get a double bond by having two hydrogens removed. So now I can look at arachidonic acid. Now uh, let's take a look at this. C18H28. Now what I would expect according to the equation uh, here where you have double the amount of hydrogens as carbon is I would expect C18 if it was fully saturated and then double 18 for the hydrogen um, 36 C18 H36 that's what I would expect so there are eight hydrogens missing here eight and because of this, I know that there are two hydrogens eliminating creates one double bond. Eight hydrogens eliminating means that there must be four double bonds in arachidonic acid. And so uh, for uh, question number 33, the answer must be D, four. And this is a fatty acid that we would call polyunsaturated, meaning there are several unsaturated um, um, carbons in it, <clears throat> more than one. Uh, of course, uh, well, not that you need to know, but that that is called uh, peanut oil, <laughs> arachidonic acid. Anyway, 34. Cottonseed oil contains large amounts of polyunsaturated fatty acids. <laughs> there we go. When the, when the oil is used uh, to make margarine, uh, the fatty acids are changed chemically in order to increase their melting point. So that's the idea. Increasing the melting point makes makes it such that it would be uh, more solid or semi-solid at, at um, room temperature. That's what we want for margarine, for example. We don't want margarine to be a lump of oil. We want it to be uh, have some firmness to it. So um, one change that would achieve this would be, so A is decreasing pH of the mixture of fatty acids. Okay, that wasn't discussed anywhere. Uh, B, uh, adding alkyl side chains to the hydrocarbon chain quite the opposite um, because uh, the passage talked about in order to pack in these fatty acids so that they can be uh, sort of semi-solid or whatever um, in order to pack them in and increase the melting point uh, you need to avoid having side chains and avoid having uh, unsaturation you want to have saturated bonds and then C 
uh, 34C is uh, reducing the number of double bonds in the hydrocarbon chain. That's bang on uh, for what the uh, passage was suggesting. Um, and so, uh, and D was not mentioned anywhere. So C is the answer, 34C. So uh, just keeping in the back of your mind, what we're talking about is adding hydrogens to, adding hydrogens to a double bonds creates saturation and, um, and that's why you've heard of uh, saturated uh, um, fatty acids, saturated fats, and um, because adding the hydrogen or hydrogenation reduces these um, uh, organic compounds, makes them saturated, or if you partially hydrogenate them, uh, you can make uh, trans fatty acids, and of course, uh, that will give you a heart attack, um, of course, where you're trying to avoid them as much as possible. But it's not like they're going to ask you uh, necessarily for that you memorize something about trans fatty acids, but you know what it is. You know what an unsaturated uh, carbon compound is. You know that trans means that it's um, the substituents are on opposite sides of the double bond. Cis is when they're on the same side of the double bond. So you can see how this all uh, fits in. Anyway, carrying on. Question number 35. The iodine value um, is a measure of uh, double bonds in, in the fatty acids because iodine can, can add to these uh, uh, double bonds. So uh, what is the iodine values for capric acid, gaitic acid, and arachidonic acid? So first I'll look for capric acid. And uh, this is capric acid over here. And I could see this is double, so it has zero uh, double bonds. It's fully saturated. The second compound is uh, gaitic uh, acid. And gaitic acid is um, one, two, three, four, number four here on this list. And you can see that it's C4H26. It should be C C14H28. So it's two down on the hydrogens. Therefore, it has one double bond. And we've already worked out that this uh, Argonian has four double bonds. So if iodine is being added, more iodine would be added per molecule to this one. This would come in second place, and this would come in third place. I should just mention, okay, so uh, that gives us the answer, which is 35, answer choice D. I should mention, though, that, you know, uh, you have to be a little careful with Acer's wording, because this is, they did ask for, um, said that the iodine reacts with 100 grams of the fatty acid. So here it's okay, because this is four double bonds, one and zero. But if um, the the weights, the atomic weights were very much far apart, further apart, like C24 over here and something over here that, um, that had a lot of double bonds and the number of double bonds were close, then the atomic weight would start getting into the issue because it's per gram, it's not per mole um, for this uh, chemical reaction. <clears throat> so just think to be careful about uh, in the real exam.